I said, wrong with America? What's wrong with America? It's blood-sucking leeches like you and all this stuff. This will be released Christmas Day, I was hoping. Okay. I think so, release it Christmas Day. So pretend that it's Christmas. So, you know, I'm gonna, I have some Christmas things to let people know that it is Christmas Day. Okay. I, I really should go and spend some time with my family. Why? It's Christmas Day, sir. You've already had your bowl of soup. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> Hope you're uncomfortably full after munching on sweets and bursting out of your Christmas gansy. But one more present to unwrap. Your OSW bolted buddies have become knockoff transformers. This is your host, Rewind slash Steeljaw. That sounds a bit vaguely sexual. By the way, they're called transmorphers. <laughs> <laughs> He's an Autobot mini cassette. Join us ever with our very own Velocitron V1. Nice, I'll take it. It's a Speed Planet Autobot there. Mm. And the G1 Cup OZ. Is he? He is, <laughs> he is the uh, grumpiest Autobot. Ah, uh, yeah, Mark. that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cup. Oh, yeah? He's great, yeah. Does he turn into a Cup? No, he's like his own kind of like <laughs> vape. Old. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> he's like some kind of old van thing, like a pickup. It's a Christmas miracle, a sneaky Brucey bonus reviewing the WWE hidden gem all aboard the Lex Express. It's the Mattel and Mars Bar Quick Energy Chocobot Hour. I mean, the USS Intrepid. And it's coming up right now. Welcome, Niagers. Happy, Happy days, days are here, here again. Pick. Mince pig. <laughs> ah, yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all y'all. And to y'all a good night. Grand, yeah. That'll tie the marks over for another week. Goddamn SOBs. <laughs> no, I love you all. <laughs> uh, OZ, how are you, sir? In fine Christmas fettle, sir. Excellent. That is a lovely green Christmas gansey you've got. You know I would never wear a you know, Christmas not, jumper. Not even jacket. in kayfabe. No, no, no. It's just that's, not me. That's a nice summer frock you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> the culottes are a nice touch, yeah. <laughs> V1, a wonderful uh, hobo Christmas for you. Uh, a soup, <laughs> soup kitchen attire. Yeah, you yeah. ate out of a dumpster this morning, ho, ho, didn't you? Hobo, V1. <laughs> <laughs> what would I wear on Christmas Day? Like Power Rangers t shirt? Ooh, what a, a Batista going. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking muscle <laughs> man. Uh, to go with your calendar. <laughs> <laughs> and my Simpsons mug with old chocolate. <laughs> I tell you, don't buy my presents on Moore Street. Buy <laughs> 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 uh, How's Twitch? It's great. It's very festive today. Any Christmas? Oh, yeah. No, you're not streaming today on Christmas. No, no. Yes. No, yes, I'd, be, yes. <laughs> I'd be kicked out of the house. No, wait. I am homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be kicked into the house. <laughs> kicked into the house. Be miserable. Be all warm and all. <laughs> Full of joy. <laughs> Uh, with all of our hot dog out of the way, let's get you up to speed. We're ready, willing, able, and we're destined for 
our success. We felt the call to action for the mighty Lex Express. What was the Lex Express? It was a PR tour for Lex Luger to garner babyface support for his world title match against Yokozuna at SummerSlam. It's a call to action campaign, i.e. a please cheer me campaign. <laughs> With Hogan dipping his toes in Hollywood, Vinnie Mac was out of luck for an all-American babyface, and so he set his sights on the sexiest, the lexiest wrestler he could find. Yeah. Cut to Vince McMahon accosting Luger in a bar. Hey, big boy. <laughs> what was that? That was fucking creepy. All right, big boy. I'm taking off. <laughs> The Lex Express. This campaign had three parts, kicking off tonight, July 4th, at the Stars and Stripes Challenge, doing a 45-day cross-country PR bus tour starting on July 15th and culminating at OSW 79, SummerSlam 93. <laughs> Only 25 years and one day late, on July 5th, 2018, the WWE Network released a compilation of raw footage recorded for Lexi's title push. It's runtime? Three damn hours! <laughs> Motherfuckers! Nothing was left on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't possibly have been. What could they fill it with? His music video, the full hour of the Stars and Stripes challenge, 90 minutes of tour footage, and the last half hour is SummerSlam 93, his title match, which we'll review next time on OSW. It has some whopper moments, so let's go through it right now. Hang on, Lex had not turned babyface yet on television. <laughs> this was it. Did you like the opening though? With American heroes, Neil Armstrong, JFK, Abraham Lincoln, a soldier, and babyface Lex Luger pushing a ref out of the way. Because <laughs> <laughs> they did that kind of thing at WrestleMania 1 for a Hulk Hogan. Did they? Yeah, yeah, Niall actually made that point. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only listen to the shows that I'm on, so, you know, I never Ooh. heard one. <laughs> Niall actually said it between the words light and streaking. <laughs> <laughs> Kick off with the I'll Be Your Hero music video. The song, it was like it was written by Randy Newman. It was, <laughs> it was very like... I look in my young boy's eyes while he's looking in his young boy's eyes. I take your hand. <laughs> his son. His okay, son. okay. Yeah, his yeah, yeah. son. I take your hand. He takes his hand. Walk to the ring. Look out my bus window. <laughs> breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> blink. Blink. <laughs> Says what he sees. Um... So the I'll Be Your Hero, the song, it was put on those WWF fan club cassettes back in the day, but a pristine version is heard on the WWE Anthology CD released in 2002. I like the chorus. Yeah. The verses could do with some work. <laughs> this was knocked together in 10 minutes. <laughs> in these eyes, you were brave and strong. In my heart, those days live on. A soothing, hopeful ballad, as opposed to Hulk Hogan's adrenaline fuel rock song, Real American by Rick Derringer. To be fair, I think it's a decent likeness of what Lex would sound like if he sung, you know? I can imagine this being him. I'm pretty sure he'd sing about, like... I go pro. <laughs> yeah, like, go pro. like fucking... A protein powder! <laughs> I'll be your hero. That's a bit subservient, isn't it? This is for Vince. Like, I'll be your hero. You don't like what you like. <laughs> it, it, it's brilliant. It fits it perfectly. It would have been different if he sung, I will be your hero. <laughs> <laughs> you will accept me. <laughs> Poor Lex. He had delusions of adequacy. Yeah. <laughs> we get some iconic shots. Luger sleeping on the couch, surrounded by the flag and clutching the American pillow. I don't like watching men sleep. That's the creepiest part of this entire three hours, by the way. It's terrifying. Like, we get to see the raw footage of him sleeping later on. And I just kept watching his eyes to see if he sneaks a peek. If he's actually awake. <laughs> are, are you done yet? I love him posing in front of Mount Rushmore as if he's the fifth founding father. 
I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, although we get footage later on of how embarrassing that must have been for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, well, well done, Jim Johnson. Yeah, I love it. I think it's, it's iconic. Great. Yeah. Well, it's only because any song with Lex about Lex yeah. would have been iconic. Yeah. a football player i don't care if it's a hockey player i don't even care if it's a hundred pound jockey as long as yoko zuna gets slammed down to the mat on the 4th of july you ain't saying all the way baby number one we have the main portion of the show here which is the wwf stars and stripes challenge an open air who can slam yoko zuna contest aboard the uss intrepid it's july 4th 1993 in front of 1500 fans about how much is the ticket free Four dollars. Oh wow, thirteen dollars each, bringing in a tidy Max. twenty grand. Wow, twenty grand. Yeah. Jesus, lads, what was the point? Like, I thought of free, fair enough. Yeah. But it's either going to be free or it's going to be worth your while. <laughs> like this is like twenty grand amongst all these football players. Hmm. Some dude cuts a suspiciously rehearsed USA number one promo, and it's like that's exactly what a Japanese number one would say. Like, <laughs> Because he name checks all manner of American athletes, NFL, NHL, NBA, and wrestlers. Like, that's quite specific and thorough in your information there. You were paid to say that, so. 20 grand minus 20 quid. (laughs) 22 participants in total will attempt to body slam the Japanese Samoan. Where is this? New York City at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. The USS Intrepid CV-11, I'll give you a quick history. The Fighting Eye was a World War II aircraft carrier Navy ship commissioned in 1943 before being retooled as an attack carrier in the 50s and became an anti-submarine carrier after that. Had a midlife crisis, becoming a recovery ship for space missions Mercury and Gemini. Fitting that WWF chose this with evil Japanese Yokozuna on it, as the Intrepid was quite unlucky, being torpedoed and also hit by four Japanese kamikazes. Pearl Harbor? (laughs) Pearl Harbor. It's like, why wasn't this held in Pearl Harbor? Ooh, the heat. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it it was middle of summer. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Very good. Thank you. Um, So... So the Intrepid was out of action most of the time in the docks for repairs and was actually nicknamed the Dry One. (laughs) (laughs) hot dogging as part of the museum in 1982 and making it big in the movies uss intrepid is seen in nick cage's national treasure in 2004 splicey and will smith's i am legend in 2007 Mm, splicey but its real big break came in 1993 to kick off the lex express let's see how it all went down our professional athlete is out of shape and very, very weak. They are not like my Yokozuna. So not one professional athlete will pick up my Yokozuna and slam him. No way. Curtain up. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. Randomly, WWF have set up a ring on board the USS Intrepid for a body slam challenge for the 568 pound Yokozuna. Putting on 18 pounds since the last show. <laughs> I love how he's just getting heavier and heavier. It's such a good gimmick. Shoot, terrible. <laughs> kayfabe, great. An open air live event, bright daylight, 1500 lucky lose, almost zero production. Like originally they only have one cameraman. He's at ringside looking up and then he has to peg it to the entrance ramp oh to get God. the entrance. Yeah. Holy shit. Like later on they do get a hard camera, thank God, so it cuts between the two. Why was that not set up before the show began? Yeah. Come on, you've been doing this for decades. Show up 40 minutes earlier, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Steve, what did you enjoy the audio fidelity? Jesus Christ. <laughs> on the toilet on the moon. <laughs> Jesus Fritz. What are you up to? Uh, but why why was it that you could most of the time hear Macho and Pettengill? You could not hear one contestant. What's that about? Did he just turn it down? <laughs> he <goes laughs> He's, He's opening it. Like. <laughs> what is the strategy to try to slam 568 pounds? You're going to just try your best. Todd Pettengill. Oh, great. It's staple of the new gen era. 
He holds this together. I think he's great. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Spouting garbage on colour commentary is the Macho Man. Not known for his uh, innocuous attire here. A wonderful, blistering red, white and blue. It's gorgeous. It's glittery. It's shiny. It's the greatest. Ladies and gentlemen, 5 feet 9, 197 pounds. Ex-running back for the New York Giants, the greatest New York Giant running back ever. Give it up for number 22. Here comes Joe Morris. First up, brother, brother, it's former Giants running back, but this is such a day out picnic feel to it. It's yeah. very lax, you know? Yeah. Former Giants running back Joe Morris in fucking Chino shorts. He barely gives it a goosey. Uh, by the way, Joe Morris was actually on Raw the previous Monday and he cut a promo with Macho Man and. Oh, at Giant Stadium. He cut a bloody good promo. It was pretty decent. What yeah. was he saying? I don't have it written down. But I'm going to slam the jab, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to slam him. I'm going to wham him. going to jam him. I'm going to blam him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he put on Macho Man's uh, shades as well. And that was pretty awesome. Ooh, wow. Yokozuno, I'm coming in. I'm going to slam you for Macho, for the Giant fans, and for the whole USA. You're going down. Lots of beautiful attires here, like Philly Flyers' Sean Cronin in his most formal, regal shell tracksuit. <laughs> yeah, I actually have that written there. I was like, uh, this is 93, and they're dressed like it's 83. Nah, What's going on? Shell, uh, dude, dude, Shell was all in. Was it? He's like, oh, to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. To you. Chuckle Brothers Paradise. To me. Oh, nah, to, to me. you. To you. No, 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 no. In America, it seems like it's not like it is, say, in the Premiership in the UK. Where even lesser known players, everyone would know them. Because Pettengill is introducing these people like they need an introduction. Yeah, yeah. Fairweather fans. Fairweather fans, yeah. Big yeah. pack of cunts. <laughs> 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 Next up is Buffon hair, Bob Backland. Steve Staunton hair. Did Steve? you see him when he came out? Hi, it's the gaffer. I'm the gaffer. <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> Hate him even oh, more now. God. Ooh, he thinks big words will get the job done. Impetus and commandeer. This promo was shite. Like, <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Bob Backland. <laughs> no, but you know, like, Backland, even if he's shite, he normally at least gives it socks, right? Or has that Backland not, no, that's not back. happened yet? No, that's heel pet and girl turning oh, okay. his bike. Yeah. <laughs> because this is just, yeah. go away, mate. Fuck off, duckers. Not a hope. Fails immediately. Mur, 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 mur. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, if Yoko goes dead weight, no one's going to lift him. Like, yeah. Like, if he just, huh, that's it. And you'd easily throw your back out as well. So, oh, Jesus. You know? yeah. I, I think a couple of the football players actually did try to shoot lift him. One definitely did. Yeah. Oh, my. 110 pounds of Julio Azua. <laughs> the most American I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> This jumping bean. (laughs) (laughs) The smiley jockey is the first of many to say he'll try his best. Not a bean. But he spanks Yoko with his whip. Thumbs up. That had to have been a shoot. Yoko looked pissed. Six foot three Dolphins offensive guard Keith Sims. Can you give me a fart noise? Okay, sad uh, parp. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number five is NHL Pittsburgh Penguins Peter Tagliali. Uh, he gives it three goosey, <laughs> but nah. Periodically breaking up the action, Bobby the Brain comes in and gloats about Yoko's success. Nobody is going to slay the WWF champion Yokozuna, and no one has yet. Now let's get going. Let's get hot. Finally, someone decent. The university... It's like... <laughs> no, that, that's a railroad song. Uh, the <laughs> university of Michigan and one half of the tag team champions, Scott Steiner. Not genetic freak, of course. It's Dave Meltzer Steiner. Oh my God, he's a ringer of Meltzer. With his big Dave Meltzer promo. <laughs> <laughs> what is your strategy in accepting this feat? Oh, you was a big man. I was trying to do my best. Luke, what do you think of his technique? The lifting technique? yeah. Like, he slaps the shit out of Yoko first, and then tries it. It's not going to make any difference. Like, if anything, you want Yoko to be 
compass mentis because if he is, say you knock him out, you're not lifting the guy. I was thinking if you slap him, he'll be off his like honkers. So if he was kind of planted, if you can get him to raise up a bit, uh, it might be easier okay. to lift him. That's that's all I'm thinking. Came up a little short, but I love his spunk. <laughs> Miami Dolphins running back Mark King. The running back would usually run away. He'll try him low. Gives it a goosey and bowls himself over. Yeah. That was a fun spot. Buffalo Bills Gary Pollinger dressed in his best Slick Johnson ref attire. Ah, shave those sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, he kind of sells it. Fuj. Oh, oh, this was it. This was an amazing spot. The best heat. Yokozuna. Fuji demands a bowl of rice for Yokozuna. Yes. <laughs> and as a side, uh, 10 steaks. <laughs> so I, I have a question though. Was it special fried rice or just regular rice? Oh, it looked boiled. Mm, yeah, yeah, the oil would slow you down. If you I don't w- think any food <laughs> slows Yoko down. <laughs> He's a remorseless <laughs> eating machine. <laughs> Come on, honey. <laughs> Show your pretty face to the people. <laughs> I actually like. I want to see him eat without a table. Are you just gonna bury your head into it? Oh, you know? oh yeah. Uh, this fucker. He eats rice with his back to the hard camera. Also, I'm shocked that he wouldn't go for a better shoveling utensil than just the chopsticks. Mm. Like I suppose you know a ladle. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Uh, what a heel. It goes to show you the type of wrestling fans that we all are. That we're marking out about a heel eating a bowl of rice. Take it home because you're gonna be going airborne here in two seconds. Please welcome the American Superstar. <laughs> Finally, Tatanka Buffalo, the Lumbi Indian, the most American of them all. He gets a huge pop. I love how the wrestlers are significantly more over than all of these sports stars, you know? Because only they get entrance themes. Yeah, but they get huge pops. By the way, did you like his promo? He goes, uh, I'm here representing Native Americans all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> that was Kerry Native Americans. <laughs> Such a well-traveled people. <laughs> So instead of just going at it as everyone else has before, and he decides he'll just, he starts hulking up, doing his war dance. He chop, 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 goes to the top of the rope, super chop. Like, Yoko has none of it. Super kicks, big leg. It doesn't go for the pin, but uh, that's that, you know. I love that he did his match finish routine. Like, yeah. What a carnage. It's amazing. Pettingale then gets on the mic and is like, this is not what you're supposed to do. It's a notice to all the rest of the people. <laughs> Don't attack Yokozuna. Stop working. It's amazing. There's a black guy, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura here. <laughs> <laughs> There was Razor in the crowd. It was some grease ball with a white waistcoat. And I was like, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I do like when there's downtime. The camera guy gets B-roll that we can use later on. Like looking at the WWF title belt with the kind of intrepid merchandise store behind it. And a Macho Man in the pickup truck. The Chevrolet. Like, hey, what's great. going on? Oh, beep, beep, that was beep. fucking great. Just get out of the <laughs> fucking car. <laughs> Next up is NFL New York Giants, George Martin. <laughs> Game of Thrones writing his age or yeah. badly, hasn't it? Man, it's been a rough 20 years, <laughs> hasn't it? Take it from me. This place here changes a man. Oh, yeah, in what way? I used to be white. I really like this. This is the best part of the whole intrepid. He said uh, he thought he would be up against Yoko Ono. How will you attack Yoko Zuna? Yoko Zuna? I thought it was Yoko Ono. That was very Yeah, yeah every, everyone laughed. Everyone, yeah. every, even Todd laughed, yeah. definitely. And then the whole uh, contest started and I thought it should have been more focus on it. He kind of took a $10, $20 bill out of his pocket and I was like, eh, eh, and Yoko, no, having none of it. So that was, that was pretty good. One of the rare highlights. He, he was the most charismatic person on the show. 
Yeah, he was great. He got two laughs there. Yeah. Next up, New York Giants. Lee Rusin tries a single leg to no avail. New York Giants, Billy Taylor. Dude just fucking bails. And gets mild you suck chance. Good. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, not going to try it. He said, nice meeting you. Detroit Lions, Bill Freilich. Gorgeous primetime wrestling Vinnie Mac Zubaz and tracksuit. Beautiful. This guy's a massive dude. He's huge. And Vince like, wow, don't tease me, Bill. <laughs> Let's hear it for Bill Freilich, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, give it up. Oh! Give it up for Bill Freilich. Uh, what do you think? Is this the guy that really tried? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Tried. He got one leg off the ground. Yo- you could see Yoko was like, ooh, 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 not, yeah. uh, not happy about this. And gave him a little push but he wouldn't have got, I don't think he would have gotten him. Yeah, the crowd didn't, we didn't expect it. The crowd didn't expect it. They woke up for it. The crowd were yeah. dead and this yeah. did bring them back again. Man, it made me think of Avengers 2 when all the Avengers go back to Iron Man's gaff and they all get drunk and they're all having a laugh with each other's stuff. Thor says, hey, everyone have a go at lifting Majolner, my hammer. And Captain America has a go on it and he fucking starts moving and they go, <gasps> and then they have to cut away and don't do it. So like, it gave me, oh my God, is he going to do it? Yeah. He actually for a split second thought, actually, he's going to do it. So fantastic. Ooh, next up, Velveteen Dream here. Giants and Eagles big line receiver, Joey Smith. I like how he kind of slithers, he shooks and tries to unsettle Zuna with his body and uh, <laughs> comes up empty. <laughs> Ooh, the other half of the tag team champions, Rick Steiner is next. So what are you going to try out? He's like, oh, I'm going to figure out this strategy right now. <laughs> big time starter line. And again, and goes for a belly to belly. Oh, I love it. Doesn't count. Yeah. It's a body slam challenge, mm. mate. It's not a double yeah. underhook challenge, you know? Yeah, but I do like it. It looked good. 280 pounds of Jim Campen. He says he's going to slam him on that big red dot. Gets a leg up, but that's about it. Not bad. Yeah, less worrying, but still. Mm. Got you thinking. We're getting closer here. Six foot four, Jim Jensen. Nah. So that's 19 down. It's time for the big dogs to come out. Holy shit, rarer than a triple H. Triple H H chance. (laughs) We want crush chance. Legit. (laughs) Legit. For real, Z. <laughs> Madness, isn't it? Now, this is coming off the previous Raw where they had booked Crush in a match with Bastion Booger. Vince spent the entire match going, What's that smell? Bastion Booger. My God, it smells so bad. Uh, Shouldn't it be TL Hopper that smells bad because he works on toilets all day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Bastion sits on them. <laughs> <laughs> Waft. <laughs> Anyway, so this match builds up and builds up, and at the end, Crush body slams the 400-pounder, I think, three times. Uh, so that's obviously trying to put him over as the hot favourite for the body slam challenge. And it fucking worked. It worked! Oh Holy my shit. god. Crush, brah! Hawaiian Crush in his <laughs> single guitar note, brah. Um, so, what's your strategy? No strategy, brah. <laughs> <laughs> no strategy, brah. Just go in there and get it on! Ah, oh, just seeing Orange Crush, the evil champion Yokozuna, America-clad macho on the USS Intrepid, I was like, fuck, man. 1993. This is great. I'm born in the wrong country. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- this made me want, want to be an American. <laughs> Crush Bros sizes Yoko up, bounces off the ring for added torque, no doubt. Pauses, <laughs> eliminating said torque, picks him up. Gets him a little, and I, I actually went, oh, shit. And so did one girl in yeah. the crowd. Yeah. goes, shit. <laughs> but he couldn't do it. And he, they get a chant going, give me one more chance. But he can't get it. Mm, I, denied. Fuck you, America. <laughs> I've never seen Crush so over. Outside, you know, the last 50 OSWs. 
<laughs> and you won't again, Jay. He, I think he'll turn. He'll, oh, we sure, we'll cover all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they ride him off when Yoko actually crushes him uh, with a banzai. And sure, like this is, you can see him, he's mates with Macho here. Do you see they're very pally pally? So, and all, it's all going good places. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's going somewhere. I've seen that match. <laughs> TL Hopper knows where it's going. <laughs> Todd Pittengill steals Macho's thunder by announcing, Macho, you're, go- you're up next, mate. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you're kind of jumping the gun on me there. It's- well, like, I don't think he meant it. Uh, I think Macho kind of handled it badly. You got that wrong, brother. I wasn't lined up to do this body slam challenge. You jumped the gun on me because I feel the spirit of each and every one of these people and I was going to do it anyway. Yeah. yeah! We do get a macho promo. He says he's going to be a human torpedo. Throw himself at it and whatever's going to happen, happens. Yeah. <laughs> It's not how you body slam. You don't throw yourself at Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong technique, Macho Man. If he slams you, does he win? <laughs> uh, he spits at Yoko. Very unsportsmanlike. Yoko shoves him down and he tries to slam, but can't. This is kind of like Scott Steiner's approach where he'll try to unsettle him and then try slam him. But doesn't work. What do you think? Nah, not for me. So that's it. 21 unsuccessful attempts. America has failed. Everyone can go home now. Oh, shit! There is a helicopter in the distance landing. Is it evolution? (laughs) (laughs) It's a mystery. (laughs) Is it the shield? (laughs) Massive Hogan chance. (laughs) Hilarious. What were they expecting the crowd to do? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. Hogan had literally just lost his world title to Yoko. Hadn't been seen on TV since. This is... In kayfabe is the perfect yes, time to bring course. the American hero, the real American back. Yeah, they're so excited. <laughs> this was the original gimmick: is when they booked the USS Intrepid in the first place. Like Hogan's going to do this big body slam challenge, and then that's going to kick off their rematch for SummerSlam. But he's after King of the Ring. He said, oh, "I'm fucking out of here. I'll see you on Thunder in Paradise. I'll finish out the European tour, and that's it." And so they need someone else to go for. And who's the big? Who who could do this? It's like no one. It's like well, Bret Hart, the big American hero. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> you'll need an American. So. Hold on, though. I think if you put Brett and took him out of the pink and black and put him in the red, white, and blue, I think lots of people would have gone with that. Oh, I would have loved to see that. Ooh, cowboy Brett. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to paint your wagon, is he? <laughs> with blood, I bet. <laughs> but no, it's not the Cunster. It's Lex Luger. Lex emerges and fucking John Cena reaction here. Half heat. Ooh. You can totally get it because the fans were let down. The fans wanted Hogan. And then out comes this A fella. heel. The narcissist. Yeah. Lex Luger comes out. Why would they give him a good reaction? <laughs> He's a heel. <laughs> <laughs> and Todd has to lead the crowd in Luger. Luger chance. And Macho has to lead him in Lex. Lex, Lex, Lex Luger, Lex, Luger. <laughs> like, to be fair, it worked. It actually mm. did work. Yeah. Lex, 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 Lex Luger! Being passed by, Bobby quietly tries to get Lex to reconsider and is rebuffed. That's a great little storytelling touch. Uh, actually, I'm babyface, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, he cuts a promo. I'm proud of my country and I'm not leaving until someone slams Yoko. And it's like, close the gates. <laughs> Nobody's leaving. <laughs> and he says, there's nothing wrong with America except the blood-sucking leeches who come here like Fuji. And then he throws him out of the ring and gets a massive pop. I, t- I tell you what, I couldn't hear a thing Lex was saying. But I'm pretty sure this is the best promo he's ever, he's ever <laughs> cut, right? He actually, like, okay, you're a baby face and people are cheering. And he's like, hang on a minute. Sh- 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 I finished my promo. <laughs> what you are is a cancer and a World Wrestling Federation. Everybody wants to know. Wait a second. Everybody wants to know. Jesus Christ. Goes, yeah, blood sucking leeches like Fuji and overstuffed sushi eating rice chopping wrestlers we call champion. Well done, sir. Well done. And sexy Lexi flexes the pythons. Zuna runs at him, eats turnbuckle, then a bionic forearm and gets Yoko up and slams him. Kinda. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, it was pretty good. It wasn't a full body slam. It was pretty good. It's kind of a side slam, I think. Steve, Mr. Fuji, what does he have to say about this the next night on Raw? He comes out the next night on Raw and just starts giving out and goes, That was not a body slam! That was a hip toss! I was like, Fucking hip toss? He's kind of right. Well, no. Oh my God, if it was a hip toss, that's even more impressive. (laughs) Because he was just saying, like, you have to have him over your head and slam oh, him down over the head, for yeah. slam. And he did it sideways, so it's just a hip toss. So, Yokozuna is claiming victory. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I like Don't it. take this away from Lex. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> for the first time over the summer, Lex gets up on other wrestlers' shoulders and celebrates without winning a title. Yay! Uh, Happy my birthday, America. God, the poor Steiners had to hold him up there for, what, a good two, three minutes. Ages. Did you like him having two flags? And it's difficult enough to wave one. <laughs> you Is know? it? Well, well like unless a he's a Grand Prix flagger. guy. You know? <laughs> Sparky Plug, where is he? <laughs> uh, college Band America songs play, and we're done. It's by far the best forced babyface turn in history. Because I remember at the time, you know, watching Superstar as a wrestling challenge or whatever, and they had the, the clips and I was reading it in the magazine and I hated Lex because I was a mark and he was a heel and then I said, I love Lex. <laughs> <laughs> a tradition that continues on to this very day. <laughs> so uh, what do you think overall? It's very different. It was fun as a gimmick. It went a little bit long. I thought that they should have put in a few more wrestlers, uh, maybe once every four just to bring the crowd back up, because it's quite difficult to see 21 of your national heroes fail against the evil Japanese guy. I love what this is. Like As a gimmick, it's genius. As a show to watch, it was grand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so it went on for about an hour. I'd put it second behind Samurai Cop 2 as the worst thing <laughs> I've watched. <laughs> no, it's W. Fuck. It was terrible bush league and and you know the crowd were with me all the way like after 40 minutes if another anonymous fucking football nba nhl player had, had come out i think they were going to throw themselves overboard like <laughs> it was fucking torture and no like the one guy had a bit of charisma the rest none whatsoever uh, I thought, oh, this was so shit. Uh, so corny. Full hour of a one note build. Everyone can't slam Yoko to try to get Lex over. Uh, it was very short, but it felt so long. But it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I love this garbage. It's so hollow as the challenge. Shoot wise, a couple of people, I reckon they could have lift Yoko's in a, you know, but he's sandbagging him. But in kayfabe, only Lex could. Like, it's blatantly transparent attempts to shame Americans into cheering Lex by co branding him with America. Completely ludicrous. Uh, wondrous. It's like, this is what wrestling is all about. This know? is the bollocks that wrestling's missing, by the way. It's great. I love this. I marked out hard. And of course, you know, I don't care about the athletes. I only care about the wrestlers. But that was great. I was just thinking, like, poor fans. Because it it is 15 years until smartphones. (laughs) (laughs) They have to pay attention. (laughs) What are you going to do? Bring books? (laughs) Travel (laughs) scrap. Oh, the Lex Express PR tour. And now we're in, and we cut to the Lex Express driving footage. I'm kind of wondering, uh, after the first two minutes, it's like, this is it for two hours. <laughs> I was very nervous. Was it like 11 minutes? I thought I counted about 10. 
it was tough. Like this tough going. I was getting emotional after a while. Like, I was like, <laughs> I can't do this. And like, which emotion was it? Was <laughs> all of them. A- arousal. All of them. <laughs> Joy was one of them. <laughs> you ran the gambit. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying you went insane. <laughs> it's like that bit in um that Stanley Kubrick film, The Shining. No, the other. Um, the other the one, clock, Clockwork Orange, yeah. where you man's you know, forced to watch footage, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> brainwashed. Yeah, yeah, I was, and like the problem is, if I knew then what I know now, I would have just wound through the ten minutes. Oh, you watched the whole thing? Yeah, the whole time. I was, I thought something's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> wait for it. Wait. Yeah. Oh, so, no. Oh no. shit! <laughs> I was like. Jesus! <laughs> this is literally a compilation of footage which then an editor will use to make that music video and to give them the two minute recaps on Raw. So we're seeing the whole thing, the whole shebang. Nothing was left uncovered, uncooked, <laughs> uncensored. <laughs> You're watching traffic. You're, it's like Desert Bus, but from the car in front of it. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking, yeah. yeah. We're just looking at the driver drive, and it's like, at least We can't even see him. Yeah, at least he's working, you know. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what well, WWE air this today, if they were doing this gimmick? Would they air it? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Have, on the network. They have a lot yeah. of time to <laughs> fill up every week. Get any more of that bus? <laughs> <laughs> like for Hell in a Cell 2018, they actually live streamed them constructing the cell on YouTube. It was actually not bad. I actually ended up watching about an hour of it. It's just, <laughs> an hour? Yeah, yeah. Just you put it on in the background, you know? I don't know, is it cathartic? I don't know what it is. Just, it, this is a thing that's happening. Yeah, you know? yeah, I better watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Lex Express is bound to crash at some point. <laughs> <laughs> August 30th, 1993. <laughs> so for the next 90 minutes, it's rando Lex Express PR footage at different events. Let's go through... Ooh. It all. Ricky Ricardo radio interview with Sexy Lexi. He's asked about the intrepid and then his bus and Lex humbly says gets a lot of attention. Maybe not for him, but it attracts a crowd. <laughs> That's very humble. Mm. By the way, not one ounce of kayfabe was broken on any of these interviews. It's great, isn't it? Mm. Uh, Lexi says he's the new guy and needed something extra to stand out, hence the Coast to Coast tour. So this is actually him trying to garner support because Yokozuna said, you didn't slam me, you don't have a world title match. So he's trying to force Jack Tunney's hand to say, hey, pick me over all the other baby faces to get that world title shot at SummerSlam. The Lex Express rolls on through the Rick Ricardo show right here on your Hot 97. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Thank you. Oh, we get a brother's signing. <laughs> oh, God, at the start of this, they're hooting and hollering for him. They're like, Lex, 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 like they're blowing the mics out, you know? That was amazing. And then Lex stands up and, and holy shit, he kills them stone dead. He <laughs> shit the bed, didn't he? He shit all over them. <laughs> he is whiter than that turtleneck he's wearing. Holy shit. He stumbles his way through his prone, which is uh, athletes lose sight of real places like this. What does he, like, you mean, like, shitholes like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we forget about you yeah. people. Yeah. You people, yeah. <laughs> Damn. And they're, they're like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the clapping gets slower and more sarcastic <laughs> as it goes along. He's like, uh, the, the, the patriotism, the, the, the land of opportunity, uh, the Vietnam. Uh, of, uh, especially, you know, uh, it's not the people who buy the uh, hundred dollars worth of toys at Toys R Us. It's the uh, it's the regular people who tune us in and make athletes and wrestlers, entertainers who they are. It really is. You know what I mean? So they're taking the people. And like then he knows that he's losing the crowd, and so he changes his tune. He starts to give out about young people who don't love America <laughs> enough, and then he kind of gets them back <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking young yeah. people. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. It was like, man, someone get a cane and pull him off. <laughs> like, Jesus. He's like, he's like, nine. Yeah? Eleven. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, he yeah, he peters out and gets a kind of polite applause and it's like God, if 
if you watch the start of this before he starts talking and then the end is holy shit because he starts saying oh don't worry we'll we'll be back the WWF will do what we can you know? <laughs> tell you people <laughs> <laughs> see what we can do about the smell <laughs> And there's a lot of good things happening out there for a lot of people. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just something that we feel strongly about. And I think that in the course of things, we're trying to, trying to establish that in America... Next up, the highlight of the show, way better. It's an album release party. Rainbow Checkered Macho, Hacksaw, Tatanka and Sexy Lexi are in a club as The Undertaker's The Man in Black is playing, blaring in the background. If you don't like the album, it's okay, but take my advice and keep it yourself. Exactly. I love it. I yeah. love it. Love it. Oh, yeah, it's the WrestleMania, the album release party. Nice. And guess who wasn't on the album? Sexy Lexi. Are you serious? Ooh. No, left off it. That's why, like, I'll Be Your Hero it wasn't released on CD until 2002. That's how hastily this push was put together. Lex then has, like, the cringiest <laughs> autograph signing it's I think great. I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Well he, well, he was very hot. Complained about that a lot. Yeah, a lot of complaining. It's like, you tried like to make a joke out of it, but yeah, no, you're just giving out. Like. Just sign the fucking yeah. autograph, will you? <laughs> and, <laughs> so we can all go home. Like, <laughs> top this charade. Oh, uh, he's got no home to go to. Like, <laughs> this is going it. back to the fucking bus. <laughs> 45 days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like when they're asking them, so do you want to do the Lex Express tour? And it's like, it's 45 <laughs> days or <They're> nothing. nothing. <laughs> Take the nothing. <laughs> But he's, he meets a guy, uh, a young Latin American. And to be fair, Lex is 100% correct. The guy couldn't pronounce his own name. So he's like, hey, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew? No, Andrew. Andrew? No, Andrew. And he's like, it's Angel or Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then he can like, Andre. Yeah. Andre. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one, though, that's like Alex, not Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, see, what did you think of the buffet table? This is, the, my, like, I think, my favourite part of, of all Lex Luger. <laughs> <laughs> is below the belt. <laughs> <laughs> is, is how he talks about his diet and he's really into it. And I, I respect people who are really into whatever, you know, their interests are. He says, I can't eat that because of that. I can't eat that it's because oily, that. You know, oily. Yeah, that's not I good for me. I can pick the chicken off the yeah. salad. You know. Yeah, and he's kind of like, you know, a bit jovial about it. I thought he came across quite well. And then, out of nowhere, hey there, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big boy, I'm taking off. <laughs> Jesus, Vince. This is a quote for the ages. It's like a little misty eyed here. <laughs> misty. He's like, I'm going to take off. And it's like, yeah, let's go. Like <laughs> The pink around the camera. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think like, Vince is like, there's my meal ticket. <laughs> ah, there's my millions of dollars. It's gonna, gonna bring home the bacon. <laughs> and he picks up his plate like <laughs> <sighs> Oh my gosh, did you see this? Okay, so we get lots of scenic footage showing the tour bus driving and you know taking yeah. an exit and oh here's a mm. uh, some deer nice uh, foliage. <laughs> Oh my god, the Lex Express. It usually says first class at the front as its destination, but later we see that it's changed to private coach. Oh my god. It's hardly as if anyone's going to, you know, mistake it for the number 16 into town. <laughs> you know, 215, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's an American flag yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, it's Lex Luger TM's Lex Express. <laughs> you know? I thought all buses look like that in, <laughs> in America. Yeah. yeah. And he's got a police escort with him. At a, so it's like, back the fuck off, fans. <laughs> Man of the people. <laughs> so we're at a signing. A young OSE shows off his t-shirt. Uh, Lex Luger, next WWF champ. <laughs> Aww. Including the quotation marks. I like that. So someone has said that. Oh, as in like, yeah, wink, wink, next WWF <laughs> champ. Is hey, that like champion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a little girl and she has a We Love Lex Luger t-shirt. But she also spit up on it. So 50-50 compliments. <laughs> Dirty protests. <laughs> <laughs> we get an interview with massive creepo Captain Algae. Oh my fucking god. And he looks like Beetlejuice without the makeup. No, no, he looks like your man from um 
I can't think of the franchise. It's the like piss take comedy that takes the piss out of the horrors. Oh, scary movie? Yeah, he looks like the butler from Scary Movie 2. Jeremy Beadle. Yes, Jeremy <laughs> Jeremy Diddle. <laughs> he should not be allowed within 500 feet of jail. Oh. That's why he's on television. So they, we can keep an eye on him. Well, <laughs> we, we have proof of where you are, but like, like, this is the only way he can enter children's homes. Feed the television, screw fucking <laughs> fuck, Jesus. Oh, yeah, I've seen you wrestle, and I really enjoyed it. And I was wondering, uh, in a little bit, if maybe if we could wrestle a little bit. Oh, I don't know if we want to do that. We might be able to a little bit, though. Captain Algi asks, how did you get into wrestling? Well, I was, you know, very athletic background, played with the Green Bay Packers. And then got into wrestling. There's no mention of the WBF. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Now, he was in WCW before the WBF, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I suppose he's technically right, but he's not mentioning the WBF. Yeah. Bland as fuck interview. All he has is, I saw you wrestle and it was really fun. And then he said, oh, are you up for a bit of a wrestle? Mm, okay. And then he... Yeah, he'd uh, fucking like that, yeah. wouldn't he? <laughs> Sh- shirts versus skins. Like, uh, <laughs> skins versus skins. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this fucking show. <laughs> he plugs an upcoming Popeye cartoon. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it with your family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he plugs an upcoming Popeye cartoon. Why not ask Lex how much you think Popeye could bench? Or is Popeye's forearms as deadly as yours, you know? Or if Popeye uses IcoPro. (laughs) (laughs) Popeye doesn't use IcoPro, but Lex does. Inside the Lex Express, Luger makes up his workout drink. 700 calories, 50 grams protein, 16 ounces skimmed milk, 3.5 cups of IcoPro, hand blended, and true to form, drinks the entire thing in one go. (laughs) (laughs) Um, he says it's not an advertisement, but yes, he turns the the the. But I do get these supplements for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's here's the label for IcoPro. I have to say, he's very natural, though. Like not physically, but you know, <laughs> in, in what he's saying, he's he's very natural. Yes, I really do use IcoPro. Thank you. I get asked that question a lot, actually, and I think it's the best stuff going. IcoPro. They send crates of it from my house. <laughs> Worst stuff. I mean, I, I, I honestly, I never, I don't think it had any value to it at all. It didn't taste good. It was awful. And uh, most of the wrestlers, you could get it for free, but we all had our own stuff. We all bought, yeah. bought our own personal stuff. And uh, I had it stacked up, and I'd give it to the neighbors and stuff like that. Neighbors dog. They wouldn't take it. They'd leave it back and put it on your step. <laughs> oh, did you enjoy the Bruce Pritchard cameo? Yes, yeah, so a quick little cameo. Uh, yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> what else can I say? He puts over Lex saying he's been up 36 hours straight, but he's heading to the gym. It's like, man, pff, worker. Mm. Lex at this point looked a little bit cranky. Mm. You've been up for 36 hours straight. You gotta get it don't matter. Uh, More radio interviews. The radio station are giving away a Chevrolet pickup truck. To enter, write 50 words on why you love the WWF. Lex notes that he won the pickup for slamming Yokozuna and is giving it away here. I didn't even know these kind of DJs existed. You know, you have the straight guy and then the guy that makes noises and... The colour guy. You know, he does the, like, well, hot dog, we have a wiener. I didn't know that kind of (laughs) shit existed, but it does. Only in that country. Stop raising the machine. (laughs) I... I'm pretty sure radio in other countries around the world is not that wacky, not that weird. No, no. It's not funny. No, it's absolutely not. Brr. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the CK 105.5 host brings up his initial heel gimmick, Narcissus. Lex fobbing off that he was given that nickname. Also, we're listening to the WWF's camera, not the radio station feed, so we can only hear Lex's answer and not the caller. Bush League. (laughs) (laughs) Not that I want to hear what they're saying, but it's distracting. There's one particular caller who's very interested in his family. Yeah, I got uh, two kids, age seven and three, born and girl, and got a wife. What what normal families do, spend time together, uh, play play, uh, sports and stuff with my kids and just spend time together. 
He asks if Lex has a family at home and what he does with them. And, and that's where he goes, exactly, his schedule. Exactly. Yeah. When won't he be at home? And do you have an alarm? <laughs> What's the code? <laughs> <laughs> the host wraps up hey Lex cut us a promo to see us out and he just oh well you know thanks for listening appreciate it <laughs> yeah it's not a promo put the belt on me Vince <laughs> put the belt on me <laughs> he can actually use a belt he doesn't wear one <laughs> Lex look I'm going to leave it to you to say goodbye to the gang out there in the usual inimitable fashion that you would be if you were leaving the ring with a microphone on how would you say goodbye to the gang today <laughs> same by to who everybody well, I'd just like to thank everybody out there for all their support uh, uh, that I've had so far on the Call to Action campaign. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody else on the tour until August 30th. And uh, just thank everyone for giving me that match with Yokozuna and calling in and writing in. Lex Luger, thanks a lot for joining us today. Look forward to seeing you down at the Cotland Center this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Uh... Sturgis. Where's Bishop? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, not WCW Road Wild, unfortunately. That would have been fucking amazing. Oh, you could meet up with Dusty. He's going around uh, in his short jeans and cinched up penis belt. (laughs) (laughs) Splicey. Well, I tell you what, Bobby and Tony, this truly is the American dream right out here. Just on, on Sturgis, notice the bus didn't stop. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> the shutters roll down Something <laughs> repellent like <laughs> Rabble, 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 rabble It just goes <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, fucking, fucking poop down <laughs> <laughs> What we have here is a lot of bugs Oh my god yeah, lot of bugs Through and three miles accumulated Lot of dead bugs you see this? They just do close-up of uh, mosquitoes and our Disgusting. insects on the windscreen. Oh. This is actually my favourite part of the documentary. Because I like the bus driver. I think he's quite funny. He was hamming it up quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his gee-nats. Yeah, his gee <laughs> yeah, yeah. His promo on SummerSlam 93 is... Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. These are South Dakota gnats. The Lex Express pulls up and Lex avoids eye contact with the fans as he walks in. He's got his blinkers on. Like it, it screams he doesn't like this. His personality naturally heal. Like he's not that energetic or smiley or outwardly emotionally warm. He's very soft spoken. Actually, the DJ notes it. A smaller than life character. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what would have been nice? Like a nice touch for every scene. <laughs> for every scene that Lex does put it up day 22 day 30 and so you can see Lex just falling deep <laughs> and deeper into his hatred for this gimmick and I'm sure he started to hate the fans it's 93 and I'm sure they're way bigger marks than people are now you must be having the same questions Every day, signing the same things a thousand times. Andrew, anger, Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> Like, it must be soul-destroying. How heavy is Yokozuna? Was it difficult to slam him? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, it would be torture. We get to see WWF action figures. What do they have on sale at the Lex Express signing? Let's have a look. The Rockers tag team set. Nice. I had that. Broken up, by the way, in 93. <laughs> Marty is gone. Sid left the company. No Hogan. Beefer, he's gone too. I had that one. The Clanville, singles pack, he's gone. And whoop, 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 murder, murder, murder. Jimmy Snooker. Jesus, that's some fucking bunch of wrestlers there, isn't it? <laughs> Killer's Road, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. we, we call this one the surplus inventory. <laughs> Summer 93, literally everything there they're selling is out of date. A final house show before SummerSlam. Oh, Lex gets a decent pop. Botches jumping into the ring. Oh, yeah. so fucking funny. Saves it. He grabs on to the ropes. But, you know, that shit was caught on camera. That's yeah. making this documentary, <laughs> <laughs> Lex. Um, a return of light astray. Oh, yeah. nice. Somewhere, somewhere in the world, Neo is just grinning. 
Here to here. <laughs> <laughs> and just gets uh, Steve's hard drive, drops it. <laughs> <sighs> Lex's driver, Hank Carter, chowing down on a full box of donuts. Massive crullers, pastries. And just like, fuck, Americans know how to eat. They look awesome. Know how to carbo load. Oh, we got a shot of Lex and, you know, Adam Rose's rosebuds inside the Lex Express. Maybe that's what happened. And the Lex Express became the uh, exotic express. Mm. Actually, there was a bit in WWE on YouTube. They have a warehouse series and... Joey Styles was looking, hey, do you ever have the Lex Express here? And he's like, no, but I do have this pillow. You know, Lex's pillow that he... Ah. he uh, <laughs> never mind what he did with it. It's been cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> 45 days. I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> <laughs> That's why your man had the mop. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> The warehouse guy actually says that uh, the bus actually broke down in Iowa somewhere, and that was it. Did they just burn it out in Canadians? Are you with us? That's a Tala, right? <laughs> there goes the driver's license. <laughs> Lex, this journey started out months, turned into weeks, and is now just miles as I look out the windshield and we approach the Palace of Auburn Hills in Detroit, Michigan. After 45 days on the road, we near the Palace of Auburn Hills in Michigan for SummerSlam. Todd Pettengill asks Lex what he's thinking. Lex says he doesn't have a game plan. (laughs) Jesus Christ! You've had 45 days on your own to think. You haven't had one idea in that amount of time (laughs) as to what you're going to do. Todd also asks him how he feels about being a hero, and he stumbles through saying he's not a hero despite his song, I'll Be Your Hero. <laughs> it turns out I'm actually not a hero. <laughs> Discover that in the last 45 days, guys. Let's reverse back down the fucking road. <laughs> Could you imagine it zooms up? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Meeting the fans, uh, Lex says, ah, oh. <laughs> this bit... <laughs> This bit! What is your rallying speech? His fans who took the time out of their day to go and meet him and there's hundreds of them there and he's like yeah I've got a big match coming up I'm not really in the mood of talking to you and goes back inside (laughs) I held his bus out of it (laughs) you fucking shithead rocking it (laughs) turn it over set fire to it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what's that what's the phrase silence people into the arena yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love like, he goes into the arena he just punches his way through pants <laughs> head down shoulders <laughs> tense <laughs> he's the big baby face uh, and the WWE Network video finishes with the main event of SummerSlam which we'll see next time on OSW Review So let's take it to the aftermath. On the way to the ring, Jay Hunter and V1. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 495 pounds, O-O-C. And the total package, Lex Luger. Welcome to the aftermath, Mr. O-C. You and Lex together again. Yeah, we've kind of come full circle. This is... The bus, like... (laughs) (laughs) I introduced Lex to your hearts. You were, he was already in your minds. But this certainly hasn't helped your relationship with Lex. For me, my opinion of him is higher than it was before I watched it. Wow. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at 101% now. Wow. Yeah. Because he seems like a decent guy. He's a guy that doesn't want to be there. He doesn't have charisma. But he's still there, isn't he? He still turned up. And like... He didn't abandon. <laughs> Let me out, let me out of here. They left out that footage where he jumps out <laughs> the legs to the freeway, <laughs> rolling. 
Um, you know, Vince shoved him. It's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> Head of the bus. <laughs> Vince, it's like shoving a stallion into a horse box and driving it across the country for 45 days. Not every day is going to be a bowl of fucking strawberries. You're, some days you're not going to fan, the horse isn't going to fancy it. Right. So you're talking about Lex not wanting to meet the fans. Give him one day off. For, he's met literally hundreds of millions of fans on his question. way across America. Of all the clips that we watched yeah. on this, yeah. how many days was he on? <laughs> <laughs> he Out seemed... of the 45. <laughs> how many times did he seem happy to meet anybody throughout this entire thing? He was good at the Icra Pro. He's like the <laughs> when he was bro. solitary, alone. <laughs> He's by himself. Yeah, he was very happy when he was sleeping with the pillow. He was <laughs> too happy in a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that, he has to have it the right side up. The other side has a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't that happy. I'm not going to lie to you, but he's a fucking trooper. I give him that. Um, look, I was worried. Like the first ten minutes, the bus footage was so bad. I actually thought it was grand. After the first ten minutes, I thought it was fine. Fucking painful. Hated it. Like, you know the way you were saying that the Body Slam Challenge is one of the worst things that you've ever had to watch? This, for me, was... It was rough. I do respect Lex for what he did. This can't have been easy. This had to have been a miserable 45 days. Like, maybe some of the worst in his life. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm not sure if that was his promo after the end. (laughs) Worst time, in life, <laughs> was the worst time of my life, bro. Was the worst time of my life. So, coming off the Body Slam Challenge, going into this, and knowing what happened at SummerSlam and at WrestleMania 10, I'm like, how could they have gotten this wrong? They set it up. All they had to do was pull the trigger, put the belt on him, give him a run. It's written. It's easy. Just do it. And then I watched this and it it all became very clear. (laughs) Uh, They made the right choice. He was not the guy. I I don't think I've ever seen a man with less charisma. At this level? At this, yeah. At this push. Someone someone who was meant to be a top guy. I can't think of anyone in wrestling who deserved it less. (laughs) (laughs) The less expressed. Yeah. So not only was this an incredibly difficult, painful 90 minutes of content, it killed someone who should have been the next star. A fucking disaster. (laughs) Merry Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus, six weeks turning the narcissist into flag-waving American. That's a tough order. He's not the guy that can do it. Tough sell. It's uh, with Lex and seeing him wear the American flag. It's like, you don't have to look like a flag to be American. <laughs> Hulk Hogan embodies Americana through and yeah. through and with his charisma. But he, with his charisma. Red and yellow. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you just look like a knob. If you saw someone wearing an Ireland top from Carol's, you wouldn't go, oh, he's Irish. Tourist. Exactly. It was what it said on the tin, which is 90 minutes of raw footage of the Lex Express PR tour. Shot to make a couple of minutes video package on raw. And that was great. Like, you know, I, I like, okay, it was torture watching the bus footage. But in general, though, I, I loved the hanging out with Lex. Oh, you never get, because you got to know him. And it turns out it's not worth knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge on the USS Intrepid. Oh yeah, red, white, and blue. Monday Night Raw, dig it. WWF actually do recap the USS Intrepid on the next night on Raw, July 5th, for the first 11 minutes of the episode. It's so much better hearing Vinnie Mac put it over in a much tighter package. And he's like, something something happened on America's birthday. He was amazing during those 11 minutes. He was America's last hope. The last chance of America for someone to step forward. And then from there it happened. The 550 pounder charge. Luger ducking out of the way. Nailing your goes on with a six inch steel plate in the forearm. And from there, yes, yes, it was unbelievable. Vince actually gives us an explanation for his babyface turn. He's like, he was always proud of himself. We found out he was also proud of America. And that's it. That's all you're getting. Of course, the most important part of the next Raw, we had the debut vignette 
of Men on a Mission with Oscar with his most 90s rap ever. It's great. <laughs> it's fucking great. I love it. Were hands in the in the air? Uh, yeah, side to side. Ooh, so would you say they cared a lot about it? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take it to the wrestling is. Awesome. Hurt. Awesome segment. Fucking, what was with Lex Luger's team? Uh, actually, I have this for Lex Luger. Generic Biddle music. What's Biddle? Did you enjoy All Aboard, the Lex Express? Yeah, I thought I, uh, that was my favourite review for a good long time. Oh, wow. As in your favourite review for us talking about it? Yep. Oh, yeah, I had loads of fun <laughs> here today. Yeah. Uh, watching it, no, but here, loved it. Oh, so it's uh, Christmas, you, oh, it's what, 10pm now, so you better get back to your families, you know. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, any chance of a bit of... Taxi fare home, Jake. Uh, no, uh, there's yeah. no buses running you got, today. You got legs, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure you got the Lex Express parked outside. <laughs> so next up is, of course, episode 79, SummerSlam 1993. Lex versus Yoko. It's going to be amazing. You can feel it. It's gonna happen. Uh, and of course, the pride of a Finrund, <laughs> Ludwig Borga. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Uh, Steve, what is cracking? Uh, Twitch can't be happening today, sir. Twitch is general, not happening on Christmas. <laughs> in general, what is happening on well, Twitch? I am going to be playing, fingers crossed, uh, some PlayStation Classic. We're working through some of those uh, great games, which I'm sure have aged remarkably well. <laughs> So you just try putting each other off when we're talking. <laughs> uh, excellent. Can you pimp me your URL, sir? Come have a goosey. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash OSW review. Yes, and you can watch all of our episodes. Fuck! Creo Charge and IMAX favorite 43 full screen at OSWreview.com. And if you're feeling jaunty, feeling, um, it's the opposite of flaccid. Uh, bulbous. Turgid. Turgid. Thank you, Stephen. You can uh, watch some Dogger You reviews, film, music, television, uh, OSW playlists, all that good stuff. Squeak is point at noggeru.owsw.review.com. Kablamo! And this ends OSW's non denominational holiday fun fest. <laughs> so, have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Crazy Kwanzaa, a Tip Top Tet, and a Solemn Dignified Ramadan. Now, over to my god, our sponsors. Excellent. Very good, very good. Oh, uh, just in general. Yeah, this was great. I've had a great evening. Not, yeah. not tonight, but in general, I have had one. 
Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Enjoy an all 117,000. Yeah. Or don't. It's, it's up to you. You know. Um, <laughs> I'm not your mama. <laughs> uh, so it's goodbye from V1. Take a fucking boo, lads. Oh, is he? They do. And myself, Jay Hunter. And remember, a winner is you. <laughs> 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 And remember, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.